You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do It's your dream There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it but you're never gonna make it Are you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Are you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Hey guys, it's Yoda Joe 93 back again with another video, and today we're going to talk about some pretty exciting stuff. So, we have a pretty exciting, fun-filled Saturday. Today's video is going to be all about my review to The Flash, episode 13 of season 8. So, as you guys remember from last week on The Flash, Deathstorm was on a killing spree to basically find a way to transform Caitlyn into his bride in his own twisted kind of evil way, right? So he wants Caitlyn to be his bride, but she's not ready yet because she hasn't seen enough grief. So through this episode, we see Eddie kind of giving people that grief, kind of making everyone feel, oh, wow, this is really happening, right? So we're giving... He's trying to trick, make all the other characters feel the grief so it transforms Caitlyn. But Frost comes up with a plan to with her with her boyfriend um of course her boyfriend uh what's his name uh give me a second i can't remember what the dude's name is we'll, we'll call him uh mark you know magic mike whatever her boyfriend right i can't remember a hundred percent uh chill blaine yeah so so chill blaine right um originally so they're talking to him and he's and, you know, they're all in on this plan. And Frost has to merge, you know, kind of herself with the Deathstorm protocols and transform with the Max so she can beat Deathstorm. So she goes, fights, and we get a really cool fight sequence. The first half of this episode was kind of mediocre because we got these, thanks to the flashback stuff, we got Chester and... Chester and Ligler are both kind of dealing with their demons from their past and everything they've lost with Esperanza and Chester's dad and... I mean, it was alright, it just, nothing really exciting happened in the first 10 minutes. Not a lot of stuff with Barry in this episode because his lightning can't hurt Deathstorm. But this was a pretty interesting storyline, I enjoyed it. Um, I think the last 10 minutes of this episode was very good because all of a sudden they come out. After this fight, we find out that um, the Flash has to go grab Frost, a new formed Frost with black hair to insinuate like Deathstorm. She's got the blue eyes and they fight. And basically, they br bring her back. Caitlyn suits up after being in a coma for the amount of time she does to try and save Frost. But in the end conclusion, they don't save Frost. Frost dies at the end of this episode, guys. So, spoilers obviously in this review. I want to take a good last 10 minutes in the end of the video to do um, R.I.P. for Frost and basically just say what I thought of the character and, and give you guys that. So, so yeah, this episode was pretty good. The beginning was kind of weird. The ending was very, very good. I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's not the best episode of the show, but the ending was pretty good, and I definitely liked it. Um, and I'm curious to see where we go from here. How did it end episode 14? We'll just have to wait and see what we get. So that was pretty cool. I, um, now... The last three minutes of this video, guys, the last ten or so minutes. So, I love Frost's character. I've always loved her. It is sad to see her go, but I know that the actress, Daniel Panabanker, playing both roles has probably been tasking for her. And this, they need Caitlyn because of the science stuff and everything that they need. So, I'll miss Frost, but I understand that she had to go. Uh, just RIP Frost. I think she's an amazing character, and it's sad to see her go. But what a way to go, getting the heroic ending that she deserved. And I loved it. I hope you guys all did as well. I was shocked, even though I heard rumors that she could die. 
The way they did it was crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you like this episode? Did you not like the episode? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Fight back.